Hi, um, I'm Riva and I'm here at Tech Open Air. I'm going to interview Fahad about his upcoming talk that uh, I'm excited to go watch later. So, Fahad, can you tell me a little bit about what's the first one? What's the title of your talk? Um, uh, the title of my talk is um, Thanks Disney, but I'm not Aladdin, and this is the Arab world. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I noticed that one when I looked at the program. Can you uh, explain a little bit about what you're talking about? Well, it's pretty much the idea of taking um, culture and identity into consideration when building businesses, whether it's locally or globally, but understanding if you're building something on a global platform, for example, tech, the yeah. internet, um, uh, you need to understand that you might be building something for your immediate surroundings and your, your, your community, but it, it has opportunities to be consumed by people from other parts of the world. And when that happens, you as a business owner need to be a little bit, you know, take, responsible and proactive in understanding what, um, what attracted them to it, how it's actually influenced them, uh, influencing their, their lives and, um, you know, taking precautions to make sure that you're, you know, introducing something that positive and not negative. Is that something that you have experienced in your um, company? It's NAM, right? Is what, is yes, uh, NAM uh, or NA3M stands for New Arabic Media. It means yes in Arabic, and it was created based on that. You know, based on the experience that I've had previously being head of Arabic at Facebook and introducing this new technology into a world that didn't have any social interaction, and suddenly um, we had this burst of, of innovation and, and 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 freedom of speech and. And, and voices that are being heard, but at the same time, extreme disruption resulted in extreme reaction, and people were getting killed and jailed, and um, and that could have all, I believe, been prevented had some care been taken into understanding the region, understanding how this product could affect it, and maybe rolling it out gradually rather than just kind of bombarding them with this. You know, it is innovative and it has a lot of opportunities. Um, to give people uh, businesses, you know, especially women, to work from their home, but at the same time, you know, only last week or last month, a, a Muslim uh, a cleric said that women speaking to men over the internet is considered sinful, which is crazy. But one doesn't understand how he got to that conclusion and under what pretense, because there's a generation that's never used technology and a generation that's 100% dependent on it now. So it's, it's been an interesting experience and Naam was created to try to approach that and, and kind of encompass uh, 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 this concept of, of cultural sensitivity and taking pride in where you come from. Um, and uh, you know we create Arabic uh, content or content that's targeted at the Middle East but shared with the rest of the world and we're conscious about that. In our companies, 20 people representing 14 or 16 different countries. So. You know, we're, we're taking it on and we're making it a personal mission for us. That's cool. So, um, a little bit about you. You've had quite an interesting... What I like the most about you as a friend <laughs> is that um, you've kind of understand the world market. Um, and I'm going to ask you a little bit about your back background. And you've come back to try and make a difference in places where you think needs it. Uh, can you tell me a little bit how you got to be to doing what you did? Just start from the beginning, because I know well, you went to Stanford, so start there. <laughs> so start even before. Before, well, I, I, um, I had a very unique upbringing. I was uh, privileged enough to, to, to be um, blessed with certain opportunities that a lot of people didn't have. And uh, my parents really instilled me, in me the, the idea of just, you know, um, nothing, you know, it's luck. You know, that, 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 and then you need to kind of embrace what you have and, and uh, embrace and, and, and be proud of your blessings and utilize them for good. So I, you know, had the privilege of growing up in the Middle East and so being exposed to the West, whether, you know, in the Middle East as well, you know, walking around, seeing McDonald's and even listening to Rammstein, like growing up, which is true. Um, um, and then coming and, you know, being educated in the West. So I became a third culture kid, a kid who understood both perspectives. And then post 9-11, um, I was one of few Saudis that were in the U.S. Um, and that, you know, made me face a lot of the negative things about where I come from. And through Stanford and through my opportunities at Facebook and being exposed to this word of technology and, and the globe as an as, as a opportunity, um, I found it that there's um, this uniqueness, this ability to, this duality, this ability to understand both cultures. There's, you know, 
a, an opportunity there to kind of build relationships between the West and the Middle East. And, you know, I've expanded to Africa and hopefully we'll go to Asia next. And it's all about dialogue. It's all about having a conversation and letting people sit them down and have them understand each other's perspective. And I decided to make that my passion and then build a business around it. And here we are. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so a little bit about Check Open Air. Um, we met this time last year. Yes, it's happy anniversary. Uh, happy, happy for anniversary. <laughs> um, and I think that one of the reasons why I like taking Open Air is I get to meet great people like you've never ever met before. And um, the thing is that the about Tech Open Air is that we're all not all of us, but a lot of us are working in the tech industry. Mm. But I, because I follow you on social media, <laughs> know that you love music and art, and I think that you're really one of the great uh, speakers who embody the spirit of Tech Open Air. I think Nico would probably agree. Um, I uh, hope so. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, you definitely have a, a broad range of interests. Um, how do you find it? I mean, you're obviously busy with work and stuff. How do you find it time to be interested in all the things that you have? You're well, interested in fashion and art and music. I mean, how? Like, do you I outsource have all your like? I have ADD. I have no sense of time. So that's probably why <laughs> you what just happens. don't speak. Um, I well, it's it's again, it's it's understanding that all these things are part of who you are, yeah. and there's different ways to express them and. Um, I tend to surround myself with people, maybe, you know, I, I, I am a fan of art and I get involved with it, but I'm not 100% an artist yet, like I don't, can't claim that, but I surround myself with friends that are artists, so I get that exposure. Um, and, you know, going to events and supporting people and it just becomes just part of your life, like when you identify who you are and kind of identify, sorry, your passions. Uh, you start to kind of curate your life around that, and yeah. it's just been. I don't sleep. Also, you should know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> sleep at all. So, um. Well, um, yeah, I think that Berlin is a great city if you don't want to sleep. Yes, so we're I'm excited right to move here. Hopefully next year. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Well, announcing it to the world. Maybe yes, yes. Have behind <laughs> you. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Uh, I've been here interviewing Fahad and asking him questions about the changes that he wants to make uh, globally and how he's going about doing that. I uh, hope to see you at Tech Open Air next year. It's a lot of fun. We're having fun here.